What is going on, everybody? Oh my god, it's been, it feels like it's been forever, but it's, it, well, it's been longer than usual. I have been out and about, traveling, getting a, ready for a move. I was actually in Pennsylvania, car broke down in Maryland, Uber, train ride home. Long story, it sucked. Anyway, back in Planet Coaster. Thank you guys for everybody who downloaded Appalachian Adventure on the workshop. That will be linked down below, as always, along with the timestamps. And I think I'm going to start saying, have no fear, the timestamps, they are here. And so is your mother, actually. She's a really nice lady. We've just been hanging out, shooting the shit. Um, I really wanted to make this video just as a confession. I am all of your fathers. Literally, I am each and every one of you. I, I'm your dad, and I created this channel because... I wanted to reach out, you know, um, I know I said I was leaving for a pack of cigarettes at 2 in the morning about uh, 10 years ago, but I I've been doing this, and hi, son and daughters, how are you? This is stupid. Anyway, Valley America, this is a revitalization of a project I have done in the past. If you are an OG viewer, you might remember that project, and it was garbage. It was absolute trash city. It was a uh, very ugly, the scaling was off, and you can see the remnants in the background through this time lapse of the original International Street, which is gonna be completely gutted. I'm actually gonna be using a lot of reference photos and stuff. That's one, I always save a ton of reference photos for projects, but I never actually use them. But we are using the living hell out of them in this project because I want it to look good. And instead of just having this big park that we're gonna jump around different spots and do episodes on, I wanna start at the front, and work our way back and it's just going to be a lot more organized a lot more detailed and just a lot more realistic by the way i'm not going to be yabbering on this whole time lapse it's a it's a long one again but you know youtube rewards longer videos so and again i'm a whore so that's i'm gonna shut up here in a little bit but i just want to touch base on a few things this is valley america this is a cedar fair property with i wanted to clash Carowinds and Cedar Point and Kings Dominion, those are the three parks I have been to, but I, and I just love the International Street of Kings Dominion. So that's going to be the big inspiration for the International Street, but this front plaza, I really found myself looking at Carowinds more often than not. So that's what's, uh, that's what's good, that's what's Gucci. We went with the big open entrance. I did do a little bit of work uh, on this, kind of cleaning it up. As you can see, the entrance building is a lot more open aired and stuff and it just looks a whole hell of a lot better than the original one which again was ugly so yeah that's what's going on just setting the stage getting this ready uh we'll be in international street next episode i can't guarantee when that might be i do have to hit the road again go up to pennsylvania square up uh square away a few more things gearing up for this move but consistent uploads will be back in the new year we will be back in appalachian adventure and i revisited that and uh, i already have like a bunch of ideas for things i want to fix up there, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Speaking of bridge, um, you know how I like Carowinds, Fury, Giga, there's going to be a Giga here, okay, going to spoil it, but we're going to implement that. Uh, maybe, I don't know about, hmm, well, you know, we'll just kind of go with the flow, you guys. So, yeah, it feels good to be back. I am very happy to see all of your beautiful faces and or butts again. Um, no homo, but, you know, anyway. That's what's going on. I will meet you guys in the real-time overview. We, we, we will uh, go over this wee, 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 wee. Jesus Christ. See, I step away from the mic for like five days, and I get a, a, a peach and spediment. I know what the fuck I said. Anyway, I'll meet you guys in the real-time overview. Timestamps, as always, down below to navigate the video if you want to check out certain parts. And I'm yammering, yibbering, jammering, Johnny, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, we're good. Clear and concise. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, I'll meet you in the real-time overview, you guys. Enjoy the time-lapse, uh, even though a majority of you won't. I can I keep track of these analytics. I see where you bastards fast-forward or, you know, drop off the face of the earth, and that's just not cool. But, you know what? I can't control you. I am not uh, God. But, again, I'm out. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, I'll meet you in the real-time overview. I love you, and I will see you in a few minutes. Jesus, will you shut the fuck up already, dude?
Soviet Russia. Present by, I don't, you know what, I'm running out of ideas on the Soviet Russia jokes. Um, Communism's bad, free market, free enterprise for life, boys. So in the real time overview, that is where we are. Not a, well, I mean, it's a decent amount to show off. If you, again, if you saw the first Valley America, it was, again, awful. It was so, so bad in comparison. So what we did is we tore out that gross uh, roof on the entrance, got rid of those pillars in the way, added some more screens, because that is a, that's, a, that's a running thing with these new updated Cedar Fair entrances, is they just, there's a ton of screens, we'll go ahead and jump into Photoshop, add some, you know, theoretical season pass sales, signs, etc., etc., advertisements for new rides, what have you, what not. But um, it's a very simple building. Uh, we got the angled kind of thingy majigger going on right there. I'm sorry, I don't know the technical terms. I'm not an architect. You guys figure it out. But yeah, just a lot more open. These, uh, I did use some workshop items, and these kind of um, gates or whatever you want to call them, those are not mine. Those would be, fuck, dice, pier, I don't know, this shit right here. I can't pronounce that, but thank you, my guy and or girl. I'm not sure about your gender, but they came in very, very clutch. Hey, everybody, uh, Cameron is online. He will be in the park working on a little something something for us. But yeah, shout out that guy for these things. Oddly specific. Uh, and again, by the way, the Eiffel Tower isn't mine either. I, I simply would not have the patience for that. Let's see. Can I spell Eiffel right? Uh, apparently I can't. E-I. Let's just type in tower. We got that really good public school education, you guys. That's right. It wasn't. Fr it isn't an actual blueprint. The tower. I got it from Kings Dominion 2.1 from Andrew Sauer, I guess 2.0. So shout out Andrew. This is a uh, an awfully clutch piece. We did scale it down a little bit, but you know that's just nitty gritty details. We do not need to go over at the moment. So yes, we are using the same security uh, metal detectors and stuff for the security checkpoint that we used in Appalachian Adventure, which we actually got from the original. Uh, Valley America. So these haven't changed. I know that there's better options and blueprints and stuff for this in the workshop, but this was my first like swing at a custom kind of thingy. I'm I'm tired. It's late. I'm just trying to get this video out. I just want to make good content for you guys. Is that such a crime? But yeah. So these stayed. You know the tables and everything. It's a very simple thing. But you know if we're gonna go for uber realism, we need to implement a security checkpoint. So yes. We got some of those aircon fans that you see in the park just to kind of keep our theoretical employees cool during those hot summer days. Those will be Mitchell K, the same guy who made the strollers for Appalachian Adventure. Dude, if you if you ever see this video and you want to collab, hit me the fuck up because you are uh, you're good. So yeah, again, big Carowinds vibes with the overpass or the overhangs right here. I I know I could have probably used a smaller steel kind of thing to make it look more realistic, but I like the wood and honestly I'm just way too lazy to go back and redo those so my sincerest apologies to the Academy and the committee but that's going to stay uh, we use some brick pavers and stuff because again you know at Carowinds if you look at it uh, from Google Maps or overviews or whatever they implement that uh, as well and I just kind of wanted to you know have my own little rendition of that here so but again not a whole hell of a lot to show we got the you know, guest services, taking in passes and stuff. I know that these are usually standalone buildings in the updated Cedar Fair front plazas like Cedar Point and Carowinds and stuff, but, you know, I kind of wanted to have them just all lined up one straight line. It makes my life a whole hell of a lot easier. Unfortunately, it will make it harder for us to try and implement some keyhole elements on the, the uh, front entrance, but I'm not sure if we're going to do that. I think we're just going to kind of let the giga run right through here, which means we're going to have to dig this up and do a bridge and everything. Make it look cool, make it look nice, but... Again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, those are some... These are actually from the original Valley America. I just kind of threw them back there. They'll definitely get dolled up and updated and implemented. But that'll be backstage stuff, which we'll probably do on the left side because I have some plans for a section of the park back here, for the coaster and everything. But again, all in due time. Patience, young Skywalkers. So, yeah, we'll have a parking lot back out here. But, you know, I'm just... I like how this turned out it's a lot more open a lot more modern it looks it looks good uh so i'm excited again gross international street buildings from the original 
Apple, uh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm in the mood of Appalachian Adventure. I'm so used to saying that. Uh, the original Valley America project. But again, this is garbage. So this will all get completely modified, redone, and will make it look nice and realistic. Might extend the International Street further back. I'm not sure yet. Uh, more than likely probably will because, you know, given the length of these buildings and we have to add a second one on each side, it will probably have to do that. But again, all stuff that will be coming very shortly. Um, again, I'm sorry, not a whole hell of a lot to show off. The, this Valley America sign, I wanted to kind of implement some earthy, natural looking things. And I think using the rocks was a pretty good uh, way of doing that and such. So, yeah, uh, again, uh, it, it looks good. I mean, I don't want to sound cocky. That's the last thing I ever want to do, but I'm proud of how this turned out. And again, like I said at the on the last Appalachian Adventure episode, I want to make this so that it, there's some functionality and guests can actually enter the park and use it and everything. So I have a bunch of planters sunk down along right here, as you saw in the time lapse, which you probably didn't because you probably use the timestamps, but that's why they're there. I want to make your life easier and I don't want to make you have to, you know, render and buffer around the video just to kind of get my retention rate up because, you know, I'm a whore, but I'm not a slut. So, you know, I want to make it easy. They're there for a reason, but we did sink some planters and everything. So guess they'll probably have an entrance or, act or spawn point somewhere out here in the parking lot and they'll be able to walk up and enter through the exit only. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but you know, it would have been a, a lot tougher to get them to go all the way through all these front gates and security checkpoints and everything. So they'll just kind of flow in through there and into the International Street. That's what's good. That's what's going on. Uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, like and uh, subscribe. You don't have to comment, but it does kind of help promote the video a little bit more. Any interaction on videos does help YouTube with SEO and indexing and everything. And with it being past December 10th, they're going to be cracking down on things and stuff. So that's going to try and keep it fairly PG-13, only one or two F words. But you know they allow the F word on actual TV now. I, I realized that uh, a couple nights ago. So strange times we're living in, you guys. The president is tweeting at a 16-year-old girl telling her to chill out. So I guess any nothing is really uh, off the table at this point. So... Again, thank you. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, I'll see you guys in a few days back in Valley America, and we're going to get some stuff done and start working on, on uh, International Street. Thank you so much for checking out the video again. I am repeating myself. I love you, and good night, Cleveland. Even though we're not in Cleveland, we're in Richmond, Virginia. Anyway, all right, I'm out, you guys.